All right. So today I have finished up uh, all the preamp tube wiring, and I'll kind of point out some of the stuff with that. And then I finished all the power tube wiring, and uh, I still haven't. I've got to figure out how to get a fuse put in here. So we'll get that sorted out eventually. But I will put a fuse in here. Um, so the preamp wiring, as you can see, I just have wires that will come straight up now. And these will come out through the uh, holes that I've put into it. I've kind of pressed them down on accident when I was leaning over on them to do this part. But so those are, I have the, um, these are the two grounding points, I th or maybe that's the inputs. I can't remember now. I'll have to double check. But anyway, uh, no, those are the two one ohm resistors that need to go to ground for the um, heaters. Uh, these, th there is uh, just a jumper between the inputs on this guy, and on this one we have a small um, 100 picofarad capacitor between the anode and cath or in grid, I think it was, uh, local negative feedback or something. Um, I also just hooked a short term. This is kind of long, but I have to happen to have it sitting there a little bit of shielded wire into this for in input for this side. Uh, and then uh, over on this one we've got a, this is the cathode follower, so we have the We'll have high voltage coming into here, but then it drops down 100 uh, into the one half, but it drops down through a 100K resistor to the other half, and then jumps straight over to the to that side. So, um, and then we have over here another, uh, it's supposed to be a 47 picofarad, but I somehow or another didn't order it, but I had happened to have a 50 picofarad that was laying around, which is uh, ballpark enough, I think, for me. So, uh, and then those are all wired in. I then came in and brought the, these are the uh, transformer primaries. The main one comes over to here and gets the A that comes into the plates. Uh, but then I have a red one jumped into here on pin three and then jumps over to pin three of this half of the uh, output stage. And on this half I've got the brown one coming to this one and then a little kind of an orangish wire I had that's thick as thick gauge as well to jump into that one. And then uh, I also have the now the through the um, choke side. On the other side of the choke we have um, the B and the B winding or the B you know what, I, now that I'm looking at that, I might have put that on the wrong side. That's supposed to go on the um, first side of the choke, not the second side of the choke. Is that right? I might have done that wrong. Oh no, okay. So this is the A point, which is correct. So, uh, sorry, A, A basically comes out of e either of these points, because effectively the only thing connecting this point to this point is just this, is this fuse. So the fuse will connect those two together. This is the A point right here. Um, B starts on the other side of the choke, which I am now thinking I do have this wrong because this is between these two. This one should jump over to this guy. So I have to fix that. Um, I have to desolder these guys and fix those, but that's okay. At least I figured it out. So, um, I will need to re rewire that a little bit, but, uh, the, the, uh, so this, both this, both of these need to come out. So this one will come over to this side and this one is going to jump over to that side. It doesn't matter which side of the choke, there's, they're not directional, but I've got to move that over there. So, uh, and then um, at any rate, I also have, so this will be the B plus, but it'll jump over to here for the B, which jumps between each of those pins across there, which is using pin six, which is unused, but then that has the dropper that drops it over to pin four, which is where the actual screens are. So, and that's what these big guys are. They're big high wattage, um, 1k resistors that are required. So um, as you can see, I've got uh, to fix something there, but that's pretty much what I think I'll get done today. Uh, I might have some more time tomorrow, but we'll see if you get that in this next video or not. So cheers, everybody. Thanks. All right. Hello, everybody. So uh, I fixed the booboo head. I've got my, I'll have the B plus that connects into here, obviously. I can kind of bring that and wrap it around this post in the middle. That will go through a fuse back down to here, but it also from here connects into the primary of the output transformer. Uh, and then that jumps through this, uh, choke and then down to this side. This side then has a jumper between here, jumper between there, jumper between there, and then I'll have only one jumper on the board. So I kind of miscalculated that one. So, but I do have this all fixed now and done correctly. I, do, I did put a ground here as a separate ground. The first ground is this guy here. Second ground is this one here. Uh, and then this ground, I'm going to actually have to run a longer one because I want it to ground more over kind of towards the preamp area somewhere over in here. So we'll get that separate. And then the single, the only thing I don't like now that I think about it is that this means that my phase inverter and my tone stack driver are sharing a ground. Uh, so that's uh, not the best, the most optimal, if you will, whatever, but uh, it, it is what it is at this point. So, um, but uh, it will be, um, we'll see if it's okay or not. If it's not okay, I may have to pull this guy and buy two more separate 50 microfarad 
uh, capacitors, but we'll see if that uh, creates any kind of noise problems or, or ground loops. So at this point, I'm ready to stop with all of this. The chassis, I believe, is pretty much wired up, and now I just have to come back here and do my board and then drop the board in. So uh, that'll be that for this time around.